Hello there, Overclock. This is Assassinitis. Uh, basically, this is the black uh, ABS M1 mechanical keyboard. It's uh, supposed to be produced by ABS. Who's a real OEM? I'm not sure. Basically, here's the keyboard, and it is a mechanical keyboard. It uses simplified black Alps uh, key switches, and overall, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. When I first purchased this keyboard, I bought it from uh, Chief Valley for $39.99. I was thinking about RMA in it, but I decided that after the 50% of the rental take offer, the RMA resulting fee, refund fee, and then plus uh, minus the the shipping, I ended up having to. I ended up like only getting about eight bucks back if I were to get my money back, and then uh, buy the buy the new one. So that really didn't really excite me too much. So I had to just keep it. So yesterday, uh, today, pardon me, I just had to do what's called a linear mod on the Black Alps. Now I, un um, unintentionally fix the squeaking bar issue. Right now the keyboard is, uh, right now the space bar is really off because it's not um, hooked on to the uh, metal bracket that there is. And I'll, I'll show you why. It saves time in the video. So, how do you fix the squeaking, uh, squeaking bar without having to take the switch apart and add a lubricant to it? Here's what I did. Basically, the first thing you need to do is go ahead and remove the space bar. You can do this by pressing, I would recommend pressing from the top and then going upwards on this side. I don't recommend doing it on this side because there's a metal bracket there. What you need to do is just pop it. Once it pops out, you'll notice that it's hooked onto the, to the metal bracket. On the metal bracket, all you need to do is, is push to the from the left to the right, and that should get get it unhooked. Uh, right now, it's not plugged in, but that's to save time. Here's the metal bracket that I'm talking about. It's pretty durable, pretty pretty strong. Uh, it won't bend very easily, but it will bend if, if you use enough force. And here's the switch. All right. So basically, how do you fix it? What you need to do is take two screwdrivers, okay, and you need to take the smaller one and put it on the bottom, and the top one on the, on the top. What you might need to do is remove the B key, which is what I'm about to do. There we go. And yes, these keys, most of these keys can be removed with the exception of the shift key, the enter key, the backspace key, and I believe it's a cap lock key. Those use metal brackets, so you need to be very careful when removing those. The rest can be popped right out of place. Uh, the F keys I haven't really removed. There's no reason to remove them. And then these I, have, I haven't removed either. I haven't removed any of the keys other than the standard um, keys that are usually used. Uh, continuing on, what you need to do is take your, your smaller uh, Phillips screwdriver. I don't recommend using the, the, the precision key. Uh, Precision screwdrivers for two reasons. Precision screwdrivers will create too much pressure and actually go ahead and, and pop the switch out, which is what you need to do if you want to remove the the switch and turn it into, into a uh, precision. But this is what I did. You need to press, put one here, put one here, and then what you need to do is go ahead and pinch the mechanical switch and pull upwards very, very gently until you notice that the switch went up a little bit. Once that's done, put in the, uh, the, the smaller key smaller screwdriver and then only one push upwards until you see the switch get offset. Once the switch offsets, let it go. It should come right back out into its appropriate place and then do the same thing for the other side. Repeat this about two times on each side and then let it go. Once you do that you will notice the squeaking is gone and all you need to do now is put back your uh, B key and your space bar key. And that's all. So we can should be gone, and issue will be resolved. All right. Hope that helps a lot of people. And peace.